Hello folks and welcome to Blacksmith's Yard in Derby and we're going to go to my local record shop, BPM Records. So follow me and let's check it out. And this was actually at Old Blacksmith's Yard many, many years ago. Best record shop in the middle of the world. Go in and have a look, shall we? Bloody stop that up. <laughs> records wanted, cash paid. Telephone. Only records you don't want, bring them here. <laughs> Hello. Okay. This is Anthony. Hello. Well, tell us a bit about your record shop then. I'll tell you a little bit. <laughs> BPM Records has been in Derby for 37 years now, nearly 38 years. Uh, Dave, the owner, has been the owner ever since day one, 1987, when he started. Um, what can I say? It's moved three times over the years. We've been in this shop for eight years now. It's yeah, going from strength to strength. It's all good. Customers like yourself keeping us in business. So check them out. If you're having dog, come check out BPM Records. Fantastic record shop. Old, new, cheapos, you name it, they've got it. So we'll look at some of the acts. If you don't mind. Pre-loved. And the Wombles. <laughs> she loves the Wombles. Wonder yes. how many little Wombles are going to my bedroom. That's a nice price. Good price, this. 
album that is the power station which was a side project of the van and that did a brilliant person get it on by t-rex right we're going to go upstairs now because there's uh, some cheap records upstairs which is like a b stuff if you copy magic in this tutorial piece, 20 pounds, that's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Classic living like that. On Apple. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Right, we'll go upstairs and have a look up there then, yeah? So in this room, we've got LPs for three pound each or five for 10 pound. Now these are records that aren't quite up to the standard of the records downstairs, like they either might have creases or may have, they have scratch on them. So we'll have a look at this one, the Moody Blooms out of this world. And this is actually on KTEL, KTEL Records. That looks fine to me. So if you're ever in Derby, 
please come and check out BPM Records. Very, very helpful. They'll talk to you if there's something specific that you want, or specific even. They'll try and point you in the right direction. Hundreds and thousands of records. And they've got all genres from jazz, country and western, punk, mod, ska. You name it, they've got it. And this, like I say, this is like the bargain selection up here. We've bought many, many a record from up here. Over the years. Even up here, you've got country records here. There's a selection of country records, and these, I mean, they go for, these are £7.50, most of these. Then all, all the rest of them are £3 each or 5 for £10. So, what I mean, Sue's usually up here, we usually get a couple of the 5 for £10. We don't ever just spend £10. That's the only thing, if you come in here, it's like an Aladdin's cave and you buy things, you just go, oh, I can remember that. I don't know what that one is, actually. <laughs> Tell me on a Sunday, which is a musical by Andrew Lloyd Webb, apparently, starring Marty Webb. Then you've got stuff, obviously, like Bob Stewart. King, who remembers King? Love and Pride. Love, love and Pride, that's what my heart yearns for now. Love and Pride. There's even a box set up there, look. Wind in the willows. Isn't that unusual? Never seen that. Don't know how you pronounce Is that Argo? Argo Records. Oh, look, what's in there? So you get a pamphlet. One. Oh, it's actually on two LPs. Three pounds. Three pounds. Three of your English pounds you could have that for. A little bit about this of this building, from what I can make out, this looks, when you come in, it looks like it's a really, really old building. And apparently the front of it is, but the rest of it is modern. I don't know where this original frontage came from, but the actual other buildings in Blacksmith Yard are an original blacksmith's workshops, things like that. So. Yeah, so you're getting a history lesson as well today, <laughs> off Beacon Day. <laughs> we'll have a quick look in here, let's see if we can find anything else of uh, interest. Olivia Newton John. Three pound. Transatlantic, the, the vintage years. Of, so Transatlantic must have been a record label, I think. Yeah, so it was a record label. It's not bad, is it? You'd say the condition on these, for, for what you pay for them, yeah, you'd probably have to clean them and things like that like, if you do buy them. But for £3 each, you can't make, can you? In fact, I might buy that one. Because it's got, I think this was like a folky, rocky sort of thing, because it's got a pentagonal on it. The hum, humbles. How, how would you pronounce that? Humble bums. Humble bums. That was Ralph McTell and Billy Connolly. Believe it or not. I've never heard of it. Oh, Ralph McTell's on there as well. Uh, the Dubliners. Jerry Rafferty. And then a load of other people I've never heard of. But I might get that for £3 just because it's something a little bit different. Is that now one? That's now one, which actually goes for quite a bit of money on certain internet selling sites. We're on now about now 157,000 into it or something. But at least on this, <laughs> I wouldn't know most of the, most of the people on this. You've got Madness Culture Club, K 
Kajigugu, you remember Kajigugu? You're too shy, 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 shy. Duran Duran, UB40, Phil Collins, Paul Young, Tracy Ullman, Lamal, Genesis, and then there's Genesis one here as well. <laughs> Rod Stewart, Howard James, Simple Minds, The Cure, and many, many more. In fact, I think I got this when it came out in, was it 1982 or 1983? Christmas time. And I can remember, I think I bought it from Woolworths. <laughs> Again, the labels don't look that bad. Do that again. Three pounds, eh, folks? Three pounds. This says as you drop it. <laughs> Won't be a big day, Barbie, today if I didn't cock it up somewhere, would I? <laughs> yeah. Now that's another one I might, I might get. I mean, when I was a lot younger than I am today. <laughs> <laughs> so this is BPM Records in Derby. Like I say, if you are ever, ever in the East Midlands or in Derby, please check them out. You can see they've got records from £3 up to £30 or £40 for the brand new records downstairs. Everything is in good condition. Okay, the ones up here aren't in quite as good condition as the ones downstairs. That's why it's like a bargain basement or in this case the bargain first floor um, but yeah just looking through I will advise you though if you if you do ever come to BPO Records make sure you bring a lot of money with you because you won't just be spending three pounds okay cash is it yeah no, and it, 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 it is cash but you can pay by card as well but <laughs> I will assure you now you will go away and you will find some really really fantastic bargains so we're gonna say goodbye now from this in this little video so let's just get a nice little record to finish on how about this one space invaders there you go look at that one hey eh? boom, boom, boom. very very 1980s record cover to finish on so it's love and peace to you all thank you to anthony at bpm records for letting us do this and to dave the owner and we'll see you all very very soon mate don't forget to check this record shop out if you have it in derby oh yeah and don't forget to subscribe please like, subscribe and leave a comment. Bye bye.